What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So we've talked in the past about improving the performance of SketchUp models. In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about improving the size of your SketchUp models because sometimes they can turn into rather large files. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I wanted to make a quick video responding to this post inside of the SketchUp community. And I can link to the post in the notes down below, but this is specifically having to do with the question related to how can files get so large in SketchUp. And so sometimes you'll see SketchUp files come across and they may have like a 300 megabyte file size or even larger, right? Um, a lot of people have seen files up to a gigabyte. Um, at a certain point, they become very difficult to open and actually run in SketchUp. Um, but the question was, how do the file sizes get so big? Because there's just so much stuff that you would have to have in a model in order to do that. And so I wanted to talk just a little bit about the way that works and what can make file sizes larger. Okay, and so just as a general principle, right? I mean, mo most of what we're talking about here is simple math. You know, like for example, if I create an arc in SketchUp like this, the arc is going to made up, be made up of a number of different segments. And so that number of different segments are all going to be things that SketchUp actually has to display inside of the 3D viewport. So in this case, this arc is made up of 12 segments. And we might put it in 10 just so we can do simpler math. Well, if we were to copy this arc, right? So if we were to create a few copies of this, if I take this and multiply it by 10, or actually times nine, because we've already got one in there, um, if I select all of these, right, SketchUp now has to display 100 edges. And so those are all just edges that it's displaying in the viewport. This is just data that it's storing. But let's say we got a little bit crazy with that, and let's say that we created some copies. So let's say that we created nine copies this way. So that's gonna give us a thousand edges. Make a copy this way. So if you make a copy of all of these edges, you've got 10,000 edges that are being displayed in the viewport. And so, I mean, we can definitely talk about how this affects performance because it's all stuff SketchUp has to display, but this video is more focused on file size. Well, if I take this and I'm gonna go ahead and delete out my default model so that this just has 10,000 edges in it and I save a file and then I look at that file, that 10,000 edge file only has 395 kilobytes. And so just to see, I took another model and I saved it with a million edges. And you can see how with a million edges in here, a SketchUp file gets to be about 18 megabytes, right? So while it is possible to get to those super large file sizes using edges and even faces, um, that's generally not going to get you there. And so the question becomes, all right, if edges and even faces to a certain degree aren't driving our 300 megabyte file sizes, what is? And so there's really two things that can drive these large large file sizes, right? The first is high resolution textures. Okay, and so to demonstrate this, let's go to polyhaven.com. This is a website where we can download free textures. And in this case, I've selected a brick wall texture. It doesn't really matter which one you select, but if we go into our options over here, notice how there are different options for different resolutions of our textures. And so notice how when I jump between the different resolutions, this download size, gets significantly larger the higher the resolution we have. And so in this case, for example, let's say I was to download a 2K texture. I'm gonna click on this little box right here. All we want is the diffuse map. And notice how a JPEG of the diffuse map is significantly smaller than the PNG of the diffuse map. So we'll use the JPEGs for this example. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download three of these, um, bring them into SketchUp models, and then we can see what difference they make to our file size. All right, so I'm gonna create a SketchUp model for each one of these. I'm gonna keep this very simple. I'm just gonna create a grouped cube. And what I'm gonna do is for each one of these, I'm going to import the materials at a certain resolution, and then we can take a look at the file sizes. All right, and so remember that we're dealing with one high resolution texture here on a cube, right? So overall geometry, not including what's in my default model is 18 entities. So obviously geometry size isn't driving file size in this case. All right, so if we take a look at this folder, notice how that 8K model is over 10 times the size of the 2K model right here. That's with a single texture that we brought in and applied to our model. 
right? So there's only one texture in here. It's a very simple model and this is a 44 megabyte file. So what's happening is this high resolution texture and the more you have in here, the worse it's going to be is really running up your file size because SketchUp has to store that high resolution texture file. Notice how almost all of this in this 8K SketchUp file is made up of this 8K texture image that it's having to store. So imagine you get three, four, or five high resolution textures in here, which by the way, don't add all that much inside of your viewport. So it's not really worth doing, can make your model size a lot bigger. Okay, so that's situation one, right? Your high resolution textures are running up your model. Your next question might be, okay, great. What do we do in order to make that faster? Well, there's a great extension in the extension warehouse that you can use in order to reduce texture sizes. So if I go into my extension warehouse right here and I look for material resizer, this is an extension from SketchUp, which by the way, still isn't marked as compatible with this version. Um, but as far as I know, it works with this version, but basically what it does when we install this is it's going to look at all of the textures in your model when you run it. So if we go to extensions, material resizer, it's going to find all of those textures, which in this case, I only have the one and it's going to allow you to resize them. So if I was to take this and let's say that I wanted this to be maybe not 512, maybe like 1024. If I select this and I click on go, what it's going to do is it's going to go resize this texture image so that it's smaller. One thing to be aware of with this process is you can't go back. There's no undo on this, so just be aware of that. But if I click on go, it's gonna run a little script. It's going to resize the texture image. And so notice what that did is that resize this texture image. So it's a little bit lower resolution than it was. And you will notice that in your viewport if you had ultra high resolution textures. But if I save this as resized, notice how my 8K was a 44 megabyte file, but my resized is significantly smaller because that texture image size got resized. So high resolution textures, number one biggest offender for large files. Okay, so this feeds into the second reason your SketchUp models can get really big, and that can be non-purged objects inside your model. So let's say, for example, that we were to go up into the window model info and look at the statistics of this model. We want to make sure we've checked the box for nested components, right? But if you look at this right now, this is going to list all of the data that's living in this particular model, right? So this is a model file that has um, almost 20,000 edges, almost 10,000, a little more than 10,000 faces. Um, it's got 41 materials, some component definitions, things like that, right? So those are the things that live in this model. Well, if you take a look at this model and I just save this as a model called large model, notice how this is 99 megabytes, right? So it's a fairly large file for what's in it, which is two boxes in a tree model that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. Um, so let's say that we were to come in here and fix this, right? But let's say that we don't use material resizer and instead what we do is we replace these 8K textures, right? So I've got an 8K texture right here. I'm gonna replace it with a 2K texture and I'm gonna take this and replace it with a 2K texture as well, right? So what I've done is I basically swapped this out so I no longer have so I no longer have those 8K textures applied to anything in my model, right? So this should be lighter weight in the viewport. Your performance will probably be a little bit faster actually if you do this, but let's say that we were to save this file, right? So if I do a file save, like this, remember that I've swapped out the high resolution textures in the viewport, right? Notice how it's still slow when I save it. Notice how my file size isn't really reduced all that much. My file size went from 99 megabytes to just under 98. So barely any change at all, right? And then let's say that we were to also take this tree file and we were to, or this tree model, and we were to delete that out and replace it with a two dimensional tree. So we'll go with this evergreen Christmas tree right here, which does still have a bunch of edges in here, but it's nothing like the tree we had in here before. But remember that what we've done is we've gotten rid of the high resolution textures in the viewport and we've gotten rid of the heavy model that's living in our viewport. But if I do a file save, notice how still my model size hasn't changed, right? So why is that? The reason why is because even though we've gotten rid of those in the viewport, SketchUp is still keeping them inside of its component 
section as well as its material section so you can reference them again, right? We've created this 8K texture for our brick and our concrete. It's still living there waiting for you to actually use it, but it's not applied to anything in your model. So it's sitting there running up your model size in the background without you actually using it. Same, uh, same with if we go into our in model section right here and look at the component, detail of all the things that are contained inside of this model. Notice how that tree, which is a 10 megabyte file, is still sitting in my components section so that I can quickly place that inside of my 3D workspace, right? So if I click, the tree has kind of a weird placement point, but it gets brought into my model. So um, what that means is that means we have a SketchUp file that's effectively empty or empty from a size standpoint that's still 100 megabytes, even though there's nothing in it. This happens a lot with 3D warehouse models that we download because um, there's a bunch of junk living in the background. So in order to get rid of that, you can go up to Window, Model Info, and under your statistics, so notice how right now this is showing us what's in our model, but it's also showing us we have 14 component definitions and 50 materials. Well, if you click on this option for purge unused, what that's gonna do is that's gonna go out and delete out all of those component definitions and materials that aren't being used for anything actively in our model. So remember how we've got our 8K textures over here? Well, they're not being used for anything, but they are still in our model. Now, if we click on the button for purge unused though, what that's gonna do is that's gonna go through and it's gonna get rid of everything that isn't being used in our model. So if you look in our materials, now my 8K textures are no longer in here and those component definitions that were in here um, that this was saving are no longer in here as well. So now if I take this and I save it as large model purged, notice how our file size went from 100 megabytes down to six megabytes right here. So massive difference in our file size because we went through and we purged unused. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about. I'll also link to my ultimate guide on improving performance in SketchUp for improving how fast things are done in the viewport. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.